I'm going to show you how, for free, without any plugins, no CSS, HTML, JavaScript, no form of code, except the code that comes within the programs, which that's not my problem, how can we create a section on WordPress where you get like a moving footage effect? So it's like you got an image and you add some video footage on top of it to get a rain effect. Maybe you want to get like a HUD effect. Maybe you want to get like a particle effect. What about a star field? It's a very, can you see the stars slowly moving out to you? And what about hyper warp speed as well? And I'm going to explain how you do this for free. Well, kind of for free. You're going to have to use Canva. You might need to use iMovies or some other filming software, footage movie software, sorry. And just a little bit of skill, but you can do this. Hey, I'm Imran, part of the Web Squadron. I hope you like, share and follow and subscribe so that we can help you with Elemental and WordPress. Right, are you ready? Let's go over the steps. The first place I go to is canva.com. It is my preferred platform for getting images, background, logos, elements, lots of little things that I can use in terms of graphic design. It is a great place. I do use the Canva Pro account because I like to have access to lots of other images. Now, the reason I go here, like I just said, is to get hold of images. So I've just got some stock images that I'm gonna use in our footage and on the website. Go crazy or get some bespoke images. Um, contact artists on deviantart.com. Lots of places you can go to. Make sure you get permission. Make sure there's no restrictions. But I just went and got my images there. Downloaded as desktop wallpaper 1920 by 1080. So I got about five, six images. Then I went to Enchanted Media. It's, I was about to say enchantedmedia.com. No, it's enchanted.media. This website is totally, totally cool. When you go here, there are stuff you might want to buy, but they have lots of free video templates and image packs and video footage. But if you go to footage and you go to free footage, you will have access, lots of elements or videos that you can use within your movie program. I use iMovie. If you've got Windows, you might use something else. There's Hit Film Express for Windows, which I really recommend. Um, you know, there's, there's Adobe products out there. There's loads of things, but if you're a Mac user, you might be using iMovie like me. I know there are better things out there, but I'm quite happy with iMovie. Now, what I want to show you on the uh, footage pack here, which these are all free as well, commercially free as well. We've got the rain overlay, which we're going to use, but I also downloaded the free HUD targets, uh, wireframe particles. Um, and I also took uh, down the, where is it gone? Where's it gone? I took the hyperspace one as well. I mean, there are lots of different ones here you can use, okay? There's even a futuristic city one. Let me just show you what this is, okay? If I just play this here, just so you get an idea for what it does. There's, there's, there's lots of different footage, okay? And you can integrate these with your images. Very mellow music, that, wasn't it? So I've downloaded my images and I've downloaded my video footage. What I then have to do is go to iMovie to, to basically blend them together. Once I've blended them together, I will be going back to Canva and I will explain why. It's all to do with the file size, which is really, really important. You don't want a really big image. But for now, let's just go to iMovie and blend them together. So we're in iMovie at the moment. And what you will see here is um, some of the video overlays I've already added in. OK, I've just dropped them in. When you download it, you get the MP4 file. Um, some of them might come with a chroma key like that, which is even better for blending. But the bulk of them, they just come in like that or however they come through. There's the rain one at the moment. OK, look, you can see it there. What I then added down here, and I'll just move myself, is one, two, three, four, five, six images at the moment. Because I'm just going to show you a range of what we can do. And then you go away and play and do what you want. By the way, I'm using iMovie, so you're going to have to make sure you can do similar with your own movie program that you're using but like I said HitFilm Express, the Adobe products, After Effects, all of these you will not have an issue and HitFilm Express is free. iMovies is free with your Mac okay so spend money if you want but you don't have to all right I'm just trying to keep it all easily accessible for everyone. So over here we have an image. Let me just move myself down again. Over here we have an image all right I've just set it to be seven seconds long. I'm going to take the rain effect. I'm going to drop the rain effect to sit directly over the couple at the moment. OK, I'm going to extend this to stretch. I'm, oh, I can't stretch. Sorry, I've got to. Um, 
Actually, I'm not even fussed about the stretching time. Sorry, I should mention that because I'm going to be trimming these down anyway. So I'm just going to trim it to match the length of the, the footage at the moment. Now, if you play this, the rain is over the image of the, 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 fee, the male and female. We can't see them. And this is where iMovie is really cool. If I click on the rain, OK, and I go up here, I have an option for cutaway. If I pick green, blue screen. So we've now got the transparency. The problem is, though, it's not very clear, is it? I mean, look, if I start to move my mouse over there, yes, it's transparent, but the, the people behind it are very, very hidden at the moment. That's one of the drawbacks, because this was a very black background. It wasn't like a chroma key like that, where you have a green background. So the green is completely wiped away. So if I go over here to like uh, the color, one of the color settings, and you'll have it again in uh, Hit Film Express or whatever you're using. I'm going to go over here and I, when I click on clip filter, I can start to pick a particular type of filter. So when I come over here, if I leave this on none, the rain is basically coming down that way. I want the rain to be flipped the other way, so I'm just going to flip it. So now the rain is actually flipped and it's coming down onto them like that. Now, what I will say, though, is that you're still not getting the full image. And this is where we're going to drop it back into Canva. If we had the green screen, it would have been a whole lot easier. So there is some compromise we've got to go for here. But I'm going to leave that as it is at the moment. OK, and I'm not going to change it around with any of the settings. But the second one, I'm going to add in a totally different effect. I might go for something that's a bit more like let's go with the Chrome one just so we can see what that does. OK. I'm going to shrink this um, uh, footage to be in line with the other one. And I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to say the cutaway for this is a green blue screen like so. There we go. So one of the limitations is when you drop uh, some video footage in, it's going to be full size. If you go for picture in picture, you can resize it, but then you get the greens. And this is where other programs can be a little bit better than iMovie. If I put it back to green blue screen, so it's now the full image, I'm not liking the fact that it's really big. I would have to take that footage into another program like Canva or somewhere, resize it to be smaller, then export it back out and then put it in. And that's probably a few too many steps. What I could do is click the corner and just go for a little bit of a funky effect like that, just a 45 degree slice. So we'll go with something like that. So we just get a bit of an effect going on there. And now I'm going to add in some more footage as well, OK? And you'll see what's happening. So what I've done is I've just uh, I've reduced it to five images at the moment. And they've all got varying degrees of like, I mean, the overlay over here is darkening the images. So just bear with me on this, OK? And we've got a bit of a star field. So we've got a bit of particles here, star field going on here, and then like this warp speed. But you can't, you can't even see the image behind it because it is so dark. Um, and, and that's, again, one of the limitations with the way that this all works. So we'll export this uh, as an mp4 file. So we're just going to call it movie example for now. OK. And that shouldn't take too long, to be honest, to to download export for us. After exporting, we're back into Canva and I'm now going to drop in that footage. So I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to upload that movie example. It is about 76 megabytes, by the way. So we're going to take the footage, OK, and I'm going to make it slightly transparent like that. Oh, let's just go back to the footage and pause it. There we go. So I've now made that just to be transparent and you can see the transparency filtering through now, but we still have the rain effect. But because it's the same image below, it kind of works for us. Now, what this is the bit where you've got to be a little bit crafty with how you do it. So I'm just going to now align this up. It, it always helps. This is just me being really crafty now with how. So what we're going to do is now just set this to be roughly about there. I'm going to go to the scissors and I'm going to say that this footage only has to be as long as about. I'm going to go with about. So I've reduced that to be one second. I've gone from two second to one second, by the way, just to reduce the file size. And as I play it, it's just playing. That is fine for what I need. Now, when I download that as an MP4 file, the file size for that came in at 2.7 megabytes. The two second video came in at 5.1 megabytes. So it's still a decent size, but 2.7 I feel a little bit more comfortable with in terms of how big it's going to be. Now, here's the key bit. Once you've got your footage like that, 
Don't just go and stick the video into WordPress. Take a copy of that as an image, right? To get a high quality image, ding, ding, ding. Obviously, once you've got the image, compress it, optimize it, right? You know, using TinyPNG or my new favorite image boost, imgboost.com. You know, get it all converted and optimized because what we're gonna do is when we stick that into WordPress, you're gonna put the video in, but then you're also going to put the image in as well. So it's like the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what the word is now. But it's where the image shows right before the video starts playing. So you don't get a delay. The video might take a second to play, but you wanna have an image there before the video plays. Let me show you what I mean. So into our media library, I am going to add the video and I'm going to add the image. Now, this is not a compressed image because I'm just showing you for the video. It should be a compressed image, OK? But I'm just showing you. So I'm sticking in the, the two second video or the one second video and the image. Right. And that's all going to load through fine in a moment. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Video. And we get the image as well. I'm going to go over to the video. OK, and I'm going to copy the URL for the video. OK, you're going to need that. That's pretty important. We then go over to our fake page and we're going to add in a section. I'm going to make it a full width section. I'm going to say no gap and I'm just going to say, uh, let's go for fit to screen. Fit to screen. OK, just for the background image, let's just say. All right. We go to the style and I'm now going to go to video. And I'm now going to paste in the link for the video. And there we get the link for the video. And that's looking pretty OK. I don't know about you, but I think it's looking pretty OK. There will be a little stutter effect there, is it? Because it's only one second long. But I think that's pretty much OK for now. Background for that's the word I was looking back, the fallback background image. You click over here and I'm now going to put my background fallback image in. OK. So what we now get is the background image. Now, technically, that should be the same size as what we've got. And normally it always is. If I hit update, OK, and we preview this page. Did you notice that? It's one of those blink and you miss it moments. Let me do it again. When I hit preview, you're going to see the video does not start playing instantly. There is a there is like a split second delay, but the image kind of removes the user from noticing that I'm looking for it. So you need to look for it too. Well, watch this. OK. Did you see that? There was a little split second. Um, but for the viewer, as far as they're concerned, they saw an image come through with moving um, uh, raindrops coming over. And what I'm now going to do is very quickly add the other image and videos in just so you can see what the effect looks like. Remember, you're going to go into Canva and for each of the stages of the video, you're going to create another copy of the video and the image just so that you can get the, the, the background when you make when you make the video transparent, which it already is. But you want the image behind to kind of show through as well. And when you've added in those four or five videos, this is the effect you're going to get. Now, I will accept, OK, that the images are not the brightest. And that's where you've got to play around a little bit and spend a bit more time on maybe making the quality of your image initially in Canva brighter or things like that. Because I'm just showing you as an example of how to do this without any CSS, HTML, JavaScript code whatsoever. So here we have, you know, you could have your text in here, a call to action button. Hey, buy an umbrella because it's raining on you. Or this is what love is all about. Oh, OK. And then we have, you know, we have this footage down here as well. We have this one here. It's just slight particle effect going on. It's not amazing as some of the particles you can get with some um, Elementor or WordPress add ons, but it's free and you're kind of reducing the need for a plugin to be added on. We've got a bit of a star field going on there. You know, it's just gradually moving stars coming out at you. I mean, you got this little bit of warp speed. Yes, there's a bit of a jump in there. And that's just because of I picked a one and a half second video there. But like I said, it's not the sharpest, but it is a way of how you can add a bit of variation. If you imagine this was a smaller screen, it would look a lot sharper. And when I say smaller screen, it doesn't have to be a full fit to screen section. It could be a small section or just something tiny in the background somewhere on your website. But this is a really free, easy way. Well, I say easy. You get your images in Canva, you get your video footage, you stick them into iMovie or HitFilm Express or one of the Adobe Effects softwares. You get them to let overlay on top of one another with blue green screen. You might have to mess around with the opacity. I then stick it back into Canva. 
because I want to ensure that the size of the file is as minimal as possible and then I will stick it on over to WordPress and that's basically how to do it and I know you're gonna not like this method but I think it's kind of cool and easy and free. Hey I hope you like, subscribe and follow and I'll see you soon.